Greetings. Everything has a significance. This ruler. You see 12 inches. The 12 disciples. Or the 12 scientists. Is in my hands, a black man's hands. I'm using it as a pointer. I'm in a Webster's Dictionary. Show you how the technology or the lies of the ones that's trying to teach you, black man, if he won't treat you right, he don't teach you right. We go to the dictionary. All y'all black people scared of the term Islam. Y'all think this an Arab religion because the white man said it was. Islam, submission to God's will, the Muslim religion, monotheistic. Religion founded by Muhammad. That's a lie. Because it's common sense. If Jesus did the will of the Father, that makes him a Muslim. Word only meant means submission to God's will. It should substitute founded by revealed. He re it was revealed to Muhammad by Jibril, one of the messengers of Allah, or an angel. Angel only means messenger. Now let's see what. Israel means. They don't have no meaning in this dictionary. But I got the meaning. And let's uh, see what the word Jew means. A person descended, regarded as descended from the ancient Hebrews. A person whose religion is Judaism. They got a meaning for that, but not a meaning for Israel. Why? Remember when uh, Yaqub or Jacob was wrestling with the angel? And the angel changed his name to Israel. In this dictionary, back in 1940-something, Webster's Dictionary. The word means contender with God, against God, see. They don't want you to know that. So they changed it up in modern dictionaries. And they don't give you the definition to Israel because they don't want you to know the truth. Contender with God. Let's see. Old dictionary, man. I got this from a, a church. All white church. They were throwing it away. And uh, I kept it. So we're in the Bible now. King James Version. 
reason why I'm showing you this because Allah came in the person of Master Farah Muhammad to Detroit, Michigan to raise up down with Elijah Muhammad. Now it's mentioned in the Bible, Old Testament. Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. Malachi 4 5. Why am I, I showing you this? And comparing it with Master Farah Muhammad because he came around around the time the stock market crashed. It's 2023. Same thing happening all over again. That it's almost 67% of the street is betting that the Fed's going to raise interest rates 50 basis points. All of those variable rate loans, bring of economic March madness. And what did the equity markets do today? Bam, boom, down hard. How come? Because the Fed had. The economy is strong and blah, 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 blah. Now it's not that strong. Manufacturing is getting really weak. You know, the whole export around the world is going down. Germany's that far from into recession. The whole thing is slowing down globally. Protests going on all over the world. This was the logo on Muhammad Speaks. It coincides with Malachi to turn the hearts of the fathers back to the sons and the sons back to the fathers so he got us he got us right here holding hands with Africa across the whole entire globe so he came all the way from Arabia to Detroit to wake up the black man for what's going to happen Let's look at this. Conspiracy. One of the darkest words in the language of man. Yet there is hardly a single page of history that doesn't partially reveal the deadly eye of conspiracy at work. It was a conspiracy that directed Brutus against Caesar in the Roman Senate on the Ides of March. It was a conspiracy that plotted the betrayal of West Point by Benedict Arnold during the American Revolution. It was a conspiracy that led John Wilkes Booth to the assassination of President Lincoln on Good Friday, 1865. The past record of man is burdened with accounts of assassinations, secret combines, palace plots, and betrayals in war. The tenet of conspiracy has been a dominant force in all history. So we want you to uh, stay tuned to be continued.